Welcome back to Motion RC everyone, I'm James and today we're going to be doing an overview and a little run of the newer to Motion RC Henlong M26 Pershing. This is one of the latest tanks available in their 16th uh, scale lineup of RC tanks and uh, she is quite the beauty. For those who don't know the M26, um, it came out, I think it debuted towards the end of World War II but was mostly used in the Korean War and uh, a very formidable tank and its scale counterpart here on the table looks absolutely fantastic for this one we have the upgraded version so the upgraded version um is we have we sell two different versions of each tank on our website uh the upgrade version is going to have plastic treads plastic road wheels and such something to drive around the house the uh garage the driveway you know maybe out in your backyard the upgrade version is going to be just fine and for all you customizers man the weathering and detail that you can do on one of these tanks is awesome so before i get into what's on the table let's go back and show you how it comes out of the box so upon taking it out of the box, you're gonna notice that it is nice and packaged well in styrofoam. So when you take it out, you shouldn't have any fear of your tank being broken or anything like that. It's wrapped up really nicely and you're gonna get a lot of parts to it. Since all these tanks are ready to run, you'll see as I'm pulling things out, you're gonna get, uh, you do get a battery and a charger. So it's a lithium ion battery an 1800 milliamp and the charger is USB uh, compatible. So you just plug it into a USB port um, and you can charge it up. Take it takes about four hours to fully charge, but on a tank like this, this type of pack is going to get you a lot of time on it, probably half an hour of good driving time. And we do sell other packs that are going to be uh, even bigger than that, that'll work with this tank as well if you wanted to buy more, so no problem there. Pulling out, you'll see some other box. You do get a set of BBs, so it uh, comes in a smaller box, but the BBs, again, every tank or most tanks can shoot uh, airsoft pellets, if you will. They're six millimeter pellets, so you do get a bunch of those that uh, you can shoot. It comes with an IR sensor, so that's this little IR sensor. We'll show you how to plug that in in a little bit, but any two Henlong tanks are gonna be compatible and they can play like an IR shooting game, uh, which is a lot of fun as well. Then some of the other little bits you get, you're going to get some extra track links. Uh, so that's great if you want to tighten or loosen your track. Sometimes you need to take out and remove a link or sometimes you have to add a link. Maybe something breaks, so it's good to have a spare parts like that. You don't need it uh, out of the box though. So just keep that to the side. And then you're going to get all your scale details that come with the tank. So you get your sticker sets, then you get your boxes where you're going to have all of these plastic bits and the manual itself is going to take you through how to put it on. Now for the purpose of this tank, um, there are uh, there are a good amount of small bits, especially around the turret up top and along the side. Like there's a lot of ammo canisters, there's gas cans, there's cool boxes, things like that. And as you see here, I'm just you know you could you could be really fine with it and use like a benchcraft clipper if you will to uh remove them but i just spun them on there and uh put them on i will say as you're putting these on sometimes some of the holes where you go to put the thing in might be a little loose so i suggest using a little you could use a little ca but i actually like foam tack which is something we sell at Motion RC because it's more malleable and if you ever wanted to remove it, you can pull it off and it won't do any damage to plastic, which is great. So I was using a little bit of that just for a few of the pieces that I needed. But as you're putting the pieces on and you watch the tank come together, it just looks so good. Now this will take you about a half an hour to do depending on how fast you are because you do got to build the gun up top and things like that. Uh, just takes a little time and again keep referring to the manual in case you know because there's a lot of small little pieces Every single set is labeled a B C and D so as you go through the manual you should be able to line it up and uh, Overall it turns out really nice and then the last thing you'll do as far as uh, you know setting up your tank is going to be your decals um, when you want to get it looking pretty. There are minimal decals with, with most of the tanks. Most tanks didn't have a lot of decaling on them, but the ones that come in the package are going to be vinyl. So what you want to do, and you'll see here, you cut out each uh, decal individually, so cut around it, doesn't have to be perfect, and then when you peel the uh, clear part off, the sticker comes with the clear section, you place it in the spot you want it to go, press it nice and hard and then slowly peel it back and it'll leave just the sticker uh just the decal in its place so these aren't water slides or anything so just be careful though uh you want to definitely press it in nice and firm as you peel back if you see it the sticker lifting up 
put it back down, press a little harder. Might take a little time, but uh, once they're on, they look fantastic and they don't look like they're gonna go anywhere. Like the Vanguard on there, Snow Leopard on the, si Snow Leopard on the side of this one all around looking good. So now that that's done, um, now you get to the fun part, plugging it in. So I suggest before you even start all that, get your get your battery on charge because you want to get the battery charged up. Uh, the batteries, since they're lithium ion, they might be really low uh, straight out of the box. So you definitely want to get them charged up. But the way you install the battery on most 10 long tanks like this, you're going to use a screwdriver and they have a, they have, they all have hatches underneath like you see here. So I'm just gonna unscrew it to show you. And what I like too about the TK7, uh, they've also changed the connectors on the batteries. Now they all come with XT60s, which is a much tighter connection um, and great for guys who already have, especially if you're a Motion RC customer, you probably have a lot of battery chargers with XT60s, so you don't have to use the USB charger. You could charge up a lithium ion much faster with a more you know, prominent charger, more uh, standard RC charger. But uh, it looks good, so you pop that in there, and I'm just gonna get this back into place. You could add some Velcro if you want, but for the most part, it's not going anywhere. And then the only thing you'll have to provide are gonna be six AA batteries, and they're gonna go in the back of your transmitter. So uh, when you put them in, I just have some energizers. We sell Admiral rechargeables that'll work as well. And what you will see on the back of the transmitter, don't forget about this, uh, they give you all, it's like a little quick guide on here to, um, you know, all the different functionality that the TK7 board, which is now in all our tanks, uh, can do. Because when you get the manual, you'll see there's a lot of fine tuning adjustments you can make as far as the speed of how the turret moves and all that stuff. Now, when you get the uh, transmitter out too, you'll notice these uh, are your sticks. They come not installed, they just push in. So uh, you wanna push those in, and then once you push them in firm, they won't go anywhere. If you wanna, again, add a little glue to it so they definitely don't go anywhere, that's up to you. Now I'll move this to the side, and let's turn this baby on. So I'll take my little, you get a figure with the uh, M26. But now as far as the M26 goes, it does have a little hatch here in front and we can show you inside. That's where the on off switch is. So uh, depending, actually my tank was in the, the wrong position to open it on and off. The gun was, gun was over the top of it, but there's a little on and off switch here so you could turn that on. When, you're, when you have a charge, you should see your battery, your lights flash when you turn the tank on. It doesn't matter which order you turn the transmitter and the tank on for this purpose. So now the lights are flashing, your transmitter's on, nothing's happening. Well, don't worry about it. You have a little lock button. That's gonna boot up the tank. So let's press that. And you'll hear that diesel engine fire up, which is so cool. It sounds so good, but now right off the bat, you can just test to make sure the thing works. So your left stick here is gonna be for your turret. That's gonna traverse the turret. Now, these turrets are not full 360, so they'll get to a point where they stop, but they're almost 360. So you can't keep circling, but it'll go all the way to the other side if you wish. So that's what the left stick does, or throttle for any plane guys we have watching this. Let me just lower the volume. So for that, I'm gonna push the volume button, and then I'm gonna push down. I'm gonna lower the volume a bit just so you can hear me better. So now the left stick uh, not only traverses the turret, left and right, but up and down is gonna move the barrel itself. So your barrel can go up and down and that's gonna give you a trajectory when you're uh, trying to fire your airsoft pellets and hit a target or anything like that. Really, really cool feature. And now your left, your right stick is gonna be all the driving. And what I love about all these tanks and especially the new TK7 board in all the tanks now is the proportional steering control. So like if I gun it, it'll move pretty quick. But if, I, if you go very slowly on these sticks, you're gonna get nice controlled movements and much better than they used to be. Like I'm just going very lightly on the sticks here and you can move it around and everything can move at the same time, which is also really cool. Like it moves like a real tank. And then when I crank the volume up, you'll hear the driving sound. So the engine purrs. the sound system gets louder, you know, the engine gets louder as you crank up your throttle control and turn it different ways. When you move the barrel, you got barrel sounds, you know, the whole turret traverse. 
the barrel moving up and down. Then when you want to fire, you push both buttons at the same time at the top, and you can hear that's for the airsoft uh, pellet. So if there's nothing loaded, don't worry about it. You're not going to fire anything. And then if you want to shoot the machine gun, which I love, machine gun doesn't do anything, but they got the flashing light in the front, so you just push the side, and you're firing machine guns. It's, it's just too cool. It's just too cool. So now I'm going to lower the sound again. All right now, some of the other features that we haven't talked about is your loading your BBs and your IR sensor. So at the top of the M26, you do have two hatches that are functional hatches. You have this first one on the left. That's going to be where you load your BBs. So you see here they load in and that's how it's going to fire. So you could pour as many as you can fit in there. Um, you know, and then close the top. And then your IR sensor is if you want to have IR battles, you'll see in uh, in one of the bays, you'll see a little plug. And that refers to this little IR sensor plug. So what you'll do is you'll plug it in. So it'll plug in like that. And then on the M26, you'll see a little circle here that's molded into the, uh, into the top of the, the turret. And you're going to put on it's just a magnet so it just sort of it just clicks in there and it looks pretty good when it's doing and as you can see it works at a pretty good distance you know we took it out with two other tanks i would say sunlight is not what the best for it so if you're under direct sunlight you you're you're probably going to get less range but indoors you could get 20 to 30 feet and in a shady spot you're probably getting about 20 feet as well so just be mindful of that if you are going to be outside uh with your tank having fun but all around i mean just check it out driving it outside Side, traversing all sorts of different types of um, you know ground features you could really see I love the way these tanks how the road wheels will you know obviously manipulate but down the suspension inside of them always look so cool as they go over things and uh, if you have a professional version you'll be able to go over a lot meaner stuff because you have the metal treads you don't have to worry about the wear and tear with a plastic one I wouldn't try to go too hard with it uh, the plastic ones are more for indoors guys who want to model the best thing about all these tanks, they look great just on the shelf. Even if you're not using them as an RC toy, they look like gorgeous scale models. So now taking it back inside, last but not least is loading up. You do get some smoke oil. So all I could say about this is follow the manual, but basically what you do with this, wherever the smoke comes out of your tank, so for the, uh, the perching, I didn't even think I showed the smoke, did I? I didn't turn the smoke on. So I'm gonna turn the smoking unit on. Now, what's great about these smoking units now, they used to be a pumper, so it would take a while for the smoke to come out, but now it's not. It's more of a vaporizer, and you can see it works almost uh, instantaneously. There's a little smoke button on, you just push it on or push it off, and it, and it comes right on. When you want, if you see smoke is not coming out as much, you take in a little drop and they give you a little tube here that you could put on the end of the, the vial itself. So you take a little out, slip this on the end, and then what you do is, and I would even hold it if you want, but you, you bring this into, into where the smoke comes out and you just want to drop two or three drops. Um, the best thing I could say for you as far as smoke, a little goes a long way. You don't want to flood it. You don't need an entire eyedropper to put in there. A little goes a long way. And you'll know once you, you know, put a little in, turn the smoker on, see how it's going. Um, if it's looking good, leave it as that. If you flood it, then, you know, then you could get into a problem. You could gunk it up. So little goes a long way when it comes to the smoke. So as far as everything else, they do give you a little 3M tape, and that's just for your little dude who you're probably going to want to paint up. You could put him in any bay you wish, um, you know, whether you're firing or not. But that's always nice that you get figures. And uh, pretty soon, Motion RC will be carrying a lot more accessories, too, for your 16th scale tank. So stay tuned to the website uh, for those as well. But all around, she's a gorgeous tank. Um, obviously, pretty popular tank, the M26. Popular among tankers, and it's great to have it here. And now I just want to see it dirty. You know, I'm going to have to weather it up and dirty it up. But all around, it's a beautiful tank. The TK7, I can't recommend it enough. It's such an upgrade from uh, the way they were. So now that every tank we has has that is just awesome. If you have any more questions at all, please guys, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can, but also head on over to Hobby Squawk. I'll put that link in the description. Our Hobby Squawk forums have become a huge gathering of tankers. There are a lot of 
uh, excellent modelers and tankers in those forums in the tank section itself, they can answer a lot of questions too, because um, they probably have even more knowledge of it than I do. But all around, I love them for what they are, guys. They're at a great price. It's a fact that you're getting a ready to run model that looks stunning. Again, they look beautiful. Um, it's just awesome. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any other questions, ask them, you know, ask away as I said. And as always, hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And we'll see you next time at Motion RC.